On a planet warmed to record highs by fossil fuel pollution, the Gulf of Maine is among those corners of Earth overheating the fastest. This is driving lobster and cod further offshore, making it harder to make a living off of the sea. But then the warming climate brought another devastating blow this month. Two of them, actually. Back-to-back, -back freakishly wet winter storms that came not from the typical Northeast, but from the South, and at record high tide, a combination that brought down wharves and docks that have been part of the landscape for generations. So this is, is all, was what that was yeah, there? Yeah, the whole building. No way, this is, that's what's yeah. left of it. Just generations and generations of stuff, and yeah. you know, there's, there's a lot of memory down there. Meanwhile, in South Portland, the storm surge took three iconic fish shacks built on Willard Beach 136 years ago. Pretty obvious they're gone. You know, if you've never been here before, you might not have a You wouldn't know, right? And they but didn't that... leave any kind of impression up there either. There's no, um, no they, trace. There's huh? no trace of them whatsoever. So the only impression we have is an emotional impression. It's in here, right? The storms buried the last high water record, literally. Down there in the hole, is the 1978 blizzard high water mark. Is that right? That's right. It was covered by sand in this most recent storm. But all of this is what happens after just seven and a half inches of sea level rise in the last 100 years. And science is telling Maine to brace for much more in the next 25. Maine is preparing for a foot and a half of sea level rise by 2050 and four feet by 2100. Mainers are resilient, so there are people who are experiencing devastating intergenerational loss right now. And almost in the same breath, they're recognizing the realities of climate change and saying, how high and how strong do I need to rebuild or do I rebuild at all? Were you insured? No, no insurance. Oh it's so gosh. expensive for insurance for anything over the water. Yeah. So like me and whoever, you just can't afford it. Monique Coombs advocates for fishermen, which these days includes sounding the alarm of a growing mental health crisis. You have memories there. You learn to fish there. Your kids learn to fish there. And then these storms come along and it's completely gone. That coupled with your community changing because now there is more mansions than there are fish houses, that takes processing. That's a sense of loss and grief and a way of life that's sort of fading. And it's we're in a precarious position in the industry right now, but fishermen are some of the most resilient people I know. They're stubborn, which is a blessing and a curse. Yeah. And they're really good problem solvers. So if anybody can build back after storms, if anybody can contend with climate change, I think it's those guys and gals.